Hello, hello, YouTube University students, and welcome back to Opa's Garage. Now, today we are working on a 1997 Ford Expedition that I purchased a while back, and uh, I bought it with the intentions of fixing it up and selling it. And I've got it all ready to sell. And yesterday I came out and went to start it up so that I could take it and get some pictures of it, and the battery was dead. So I brought the battery charger out, threw the battery charger on it, and went about my day. Came back out today, and when I turned the key on, see that theft light right there? Well, that theft light came on, and then the theft light went back off, and uh, then it came back on, and it started flashing rapidly. And I hit the key, it started up, it died. I hit the key again, it started up, it died. So it would start, but uh, it would not stay running. And usually that's an indication that the, the computer is not recognizing the chip that's in the little key. I think they call it a PATS system. I don't remember what PATS stands for. But anyway, at any rate, um, I know of a few tricks that uh, Ford uses with like the Ford Super Duties, the Ford uh, F1 or F-150 series trucks, the Expeditions. Um, you can unhook the battery and then... You shut all the doors and when you hook the battery back up you actually have to use the key to lock and unlock the driver's side door and a lot of times that'll uh, disarm that system um, that didn't work and so I uh, after trying everything I could think of I went ahead and went in the house got on the computer and uh, started doing some Google searching and came across different sites saying you know you got to get out shut all the doors lock it with the key fob and then stick your key in the driver's side door and start moving the key until you actually see the lock mechanism on the door start to turn or start to lift up and then you stop you wait for 60 seconds and then you fully unlock the door with the key and then it should bypass none of that stuff worked after about a half hour i finally found a site that uh, actually had some good information that worked and so i'm going to share that information with you now um, very first thing that you need to do now, like I said, this is a 1997 Ford Expedition, so it should work for the Ford Expeditions all the way up to 2003 or 2005. I can't remember how long they made these things. But you unhook the battery and leave it unhooked for 15 minutes. And then when you hook the battery back up, you get in and you turn the key to the on position. Light will, theft light comes on, theft light goes off. You leave the key in the on position, the theft light will start rapidly flashing. And it will rapidly flash for anywhere to, from 2 to 15 minutes. And it says that after it stops flashing, that you want to shut the key off and wait at least one minute, but not more than five minutes. And then you turn the key back on, and the theft light should come on, and it should go off, and your key should be programmed to the uh, computer again. If it does not do that, it will start flashing again. You're supposed to go through the whole procedure again. It says that, you know, you wait 2 to 15 minutes, however long it takes for the light to go off, and then as soon as the light goes off, you shut the key off. You wait at least a minute, but not more than 5. You turn the key back on. Um, it says that if you do that three times and it does not reprogram the key to the uh, computer, then you are at that point going to have to haul it into the Ford dealership or call a locksmith out that has the ability to program the key to the computer. Um, the other thing you also want to check is all your fuses, make sure all your fuses are good or what, and so forth and so on. But at any rate, I went ahead, I unhooked the battery, waited the 15 minutes, hooked the battery back up, turned the key on, the light came on, the light went off, the light came back on, started flashing rapidly. It only flashed for two, maybe three minutes and uh, then it stopped flashing and so as soon as it stopped flashing i shut the key off waited a minute not more than five turned the key back on the light came on light went off and when i hit the key now now it's not wanting to do that i'll put it in neutral she fired right up so i figured i'd go ahead and throw this uh video together real quick just in case somebody else runs into this problem and uh, maybe they'll come across my video before they spend 15 minutes searching the internet and googling and, and trying a million different other things that uh, this is what worked for me and hopefully it will help you uh, if you do come across this video and this video does help you please uh, hit the like and the subscribe i'd really appreciate it um, 
And until next time, y'all keep living your best life and get on out in the garage and fix something. <laughs>